Amen. Good afternoon. Amen. This is, I'm Jeff Hansen, and this is King James Bible Study. You know, I made a video this morning sent out to Facebook, and it was a recording on 2007. Back 12 years ago. That was my one of my first videos that I ever recorded and sent out to Facebook. And it was on God's children. Promises for your children. And it went over great. This is 2017. Now we're in our brand new building here. Amen. God has provided this building for us. He supplied all the money. Everything is debt free in this, in this church that you're seeing right now. Amongst all that, down through the years, that sign up there that says, Jesus, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, according to Facebook, what they told me, that over 50 million people have seen that sign. Amen. Hallelujah. If that isn't God's promises, I don't know what is. Hallelujah. Anyway, we're going to be teaching you on God's promise to our children. There's a lot of passages in the Bible. Amen. Oh, by the way, this coat right here, this red coat that I got on was also the first jacket that I preached in 12 years ago in the old Bible study. Hallelujah. Anyway, I just thought you'd like to know that. So we're going to be talking to you about God's promises for your children here today. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me get my glasses. And we'll start reading. Amen. You know, also I want you to know that video that I put out this morning and let everybody see it. I no more got down with the video and recorded it on Ustreams. Went to Ustreams to check on the video and over, I think, 12 or 15 people have already opened it up and saw it. Okay? And to that remind me, I better do something a little bit more about it. You know, God's promise for our children, when we get saved, we accept the Lord as our personal Savior. The first thing that we want to do, we get excited about accepting the Lord as our personal Savior, is that we want to tell our children, our grandchildren, mom and dad, brothers and sisters, that we have accepted the Lord, because we're very, very excited that we're one of God's children. Amen. Amen. You know, so that's just it. You know, the thing that you got to do with your children, I want to make this very plain. You must keep on praying for your children. And what I did when I accepted the Lord as my personal Savior, I was, knew that I was going to go to heaven if I was to die or caught up in the rapture. Okay? I knew where I was going, deep down inside my heart, because Christ is inside me. But I wanted my children, too, to accept the Lord as a personal Savior. God brought me to these scriptures on how to pray for your children. You know, you pray for your children, let's say that you have one called Mary. Okay? We'll just say, for instance. And you keep praying for her. And the first thing after you ask the Lord to save her and bring him to Christ, you want to thank the Lord for right then and there. For the things that you have not received yet, you shall receive. So start thanking him. So I started thanking the Lord for saving all my uh, children and, some of my, and all my grandchildren. And every time I got done praying, Lord, I need, you know, I prayed for my uh, children and I named each and every one of them. And the next thing I did, thank you, Lord, I'd say, Thank you, Lord, for saving my children. Okay? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. In the Bible, we got these promises for each and every one of us. Let me read you a few here. Okay? God's peace will be upon your children. Hallelujah. That's a promise from God. And that's in Isaiah 54, 13. Peace will be upon your children. Hallelujah. I want peace upon my children. Amen, amen. But I keep on praying for them. <clears throat> then the enemy will have no hold on your children. 
It says that in Isaiah 49, 25, and 26. God will come and help and save your children, okay? The enemy is Satan. He will have no hold upon them. But he can't hold them forever and forever, okay? But we got to keep praying for our children, okay? And thanking the Lord for saving them, even though they're not saved. We've got to remember that. God will fight for your children. God's going to go out there and fight for your children. Amen. That's in Isaiah 49, 17. God's going to fight for your children. Wow. Just imagine that. God Almighty is going to go out there and fight for your children. And make a way and make a path for them to accept the Lord as their personal Savior. It may not be in your lifetime. It's in God's timing only. He has to prepare the way for that child. And then the Holy Spirit will come down upon them and convict them of their sins. Amen? Amen? It's God's will that your children be saved. It's God's will. He's not going to forget your children. When you ask Christ in your heart, God wants your children to come too. And when you go to heaven or caught up in the rapture, God wants your children to go with you. Amen. Hallelujah. You've got to keep praying for your children. God will bless them. Increase them. That's in Psalms 115, 13. Wow, I give you these scriptures here. We've got lots of them to go through. Okay? I don't have enough time today to do all of them, but you know, we'll get into the Bible and we'll read all these scriptures. You know, God's glory will be upon them and guide them. God's glory will be upon your children and what does he say? Guide them. How's he going to guide them? Guide them into salvation. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God for these beautiful scriptures we have here today, you know, that we'll be able to read and understand. If you need to know anything about your children or about anything, you know, we just need to stick with God's word. Get into it, you know. Stand on his promise. You know, I remember a lady, you know, she came to me and she she was preaching and she had, was, was claiming a scripture, okay, and she put the Bible down on the floor and she went over and she stood on it with her feet and said, I stand on God's word. Boy, that really hit me. She stood on that Bible and said that. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. God's glory will be all over them and guide them. His glory is going to be over your children. Hallelujah. That's in Psalms 90, 16. Ooh, wowee. <clears throat> your children will receive nourishment from God's Word. Wow. Teach your children to read the Bible at a very young age. Start them out right. Amen. God's going to nourish your children. Amen. Hallelujah. What a promise that is. Your children will have authority over the enemy. Boy, that, that is wonderful right there. You know, your children will have authority over the enemy. Who's our enemy? Satan. He's the one that deceives us. In John 10.10 10, it says he comes to kill and destroy. Amen. Go in there and read it. You know, pick up this Bible and toss some pages back and forth and read God's Word. You're going to get a blessing. Blessed is he that readeth this book. Praise God. Salvation and blessings revealed unto your children. Salvation and blessings will be revealed unto your children. God says he's going to reveal himself in your children. Man, that's a blessing right there. You know, these are promises of God for your children and your grandchildren. But you just, we just got to keep right on our praying and thanking the Lord for the salvation, even when we're out there in this world and doing evil things and nasty things and bad things and everything. God's going to make a way for them. The Holy Spirit will fall upon them and convict them of their sins. But we must keep right on praying, okay? Until that time. Like I said, it may not be in your time. Hold your peace for your children. Don't let the old serpent, Satan, the dragon, take away your peace. 
Wow. Don't let Satan take away your peace. Amen. Because he is the prince of this world. Amen. So, the next, we're going to make this video, and we're going to have another video, called Video 2, and we'll get into the scriptures and read, like Isaiah, and Psalms, and Corinthians, and, and things that pertain to the salvation for your children. Amen. You know, when God showed me all this, and that I read all these scriptures, and I felt so good in my heart, I knew inside me, now that I'm saved, that my children, my children, and my grandchildren would receive the Lord. Amen. But like I said before, we got to keep preaching the Word of God. We have to train our children. Even though when they get 18, 19, and they go out in this old evil world, especially today, okay? especially today, they shall receive the Lord in due process, in due time, in God's timing, not your time, okay? God has a place for them. He's got a mission for them. He's got a ministry for each and every one of us. God loves us. He doesn't want us to die and go to hell. Hell is for the angels, the fallen angels and demons, not for you and I. But, you know, we just can't keep on, you know, I, that kind of reminds me. You know, I know a pastor one time, he told me about this person that came to his church and he was preaching on salvation. Man was sitting down in front and listening to him, you know. And he kept on preaching about salvation. And then he, after he got down preaching salvation, he walked over to that man and walked right up to him and he says, Son, you have turned down Christ numerous of times. In fact, down through the years, you have turned Jesus Christ down and the Holy Spirit for 15 years. How long is it going to be before you accept the Lord? Or will you accept the Lord? And when is God going to take His hands off of you? Because He's given you many and many and many chances to receive Him. Amen. You know, after the pastor did that and preached that sermon to him, and I, you know, I heard about it, and I sat there and I wondered, you know, how many times is the Holy Spirit going to come over an individual and convict him of his sins, and he turns the Holy Spirit down? Amen. We don't know, but there'll be a time when God takes His hands off of you. There will be that time. And when God does, you have no protection whatsoever. That man, that day, walked out of that church in that building, went out and got in his car. And the pastor had warned him, this could be your last chance. And the man turned the salvation down of Jesus Christ. Man walked out of that building, got in his car, right out in front of the church, drove out of the driveway, and a semi truck hit him. Killed him instantly. What a sad story that is. Amen. What a sad story that is. But God had given that man many and many and many of chances to turn around and turn his life back and accept the Lord as his personal Savior. That happens every day. And this, even today. So it's up to us, brothers and sisters, not only to pray for our children, children, but to go out there and to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen? You know, I'm standing here thinking about you people on Facebook right now, you know. And I know there's many of you out there that have not accepted the Lord as your personal Savior. And I'm going to give you a chance. 
today, right now, to accept the Lord as your personal Savior. Don't turn him down this time. It could be your last chance. We don't know. We pray for you right now. And it's real easy. A child to do this. And it's this. Follow me in prayer right now. Say after me, Dear Lord, I am a sinner. Please forgive me for my sins, Lord. Wash me and make me clean. I accept you as my personal Savior right now. I know you had died for me and rose three days later for my salvation and for me, Lord. The Lord, I ask you right now, forgive me for my sins. And we thank you, Lord. I give you thanks for saving me. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. If you followed me in prayer on that, hallelujah, you've accepted the Lord as your personal Savior. You can get killed. Don't get me wrong. But there's one thing about it. You're not going to go to hell. You're going to go to heaven and meet the Lord. Okay? Amen. Praise the Lord. You are saved. Amen. Hallelujah. The angels in heaven right now are rejoicing over you. Okay? That you have accepted the Lord as your personal Savior. But I want to tell you something. Like John 10.10 10 says, Satan comes to deceive. Don't get me wrong. Satan is going to come and try and deceive you of what you have received today from the Lord. He is definitely going to do that. You know, there is a way right now for you. You must pick up this Bible right now and start reading it. Okay? You must start reading this Bible. Blessed is he that readeth this Bible. Okay? That's what it says in Revelation. Amen. Then you need to get connected up with a good spiritual filled Bible study somewhere. There's one in your town somewhere. I know it, okay? They're all over the place. In a church. Find a good spirit filled church and start going to it and learning God's Word. Amen. God's going to prosper. He wants to prosper you, okay? He's going to lead you everywhere you go. That is the path you want. It's a very narrow path. That's true. God loves you. And He wants to show you things. He's got a ministry for you. Amen. Look at what happened to me one day. I accepted the Lord way back when I was only 28 years old. But I didn't follow the Lord. I'd say, you may say I backed it. Well, true. I didn't follow the Lord, but I had accepted Him. Then in 2000, I rededicated my life to Jesus Christ. And when I did that, I meant business. I knew the Lord had something for me. And He's got something for you. He has a ministry for you. Something God wants you to do. And it took God many, many years down the line since I first got saved and I rededicated my life to Jesus Christ. It took a lot of years. And during that time, yes, I did. I sinned. Amen. And all I had to do, if you sin, is to repent. We sin every day. We're human. Remember that. You're human. And we do things that we shouldn't do. Read the book of Proverbs. It'll tell you all the things that you do that you should not do. Okay? Praise the Lord. Well, that's about it for today. 
And tomorrow I'm going to come to you again. I'm going to read some more on God's promise to your children. Okay? And we're going to read all these passages that I just told you about today about your children. There's 15 of them here. Right? Plus there's more. I can't do it all in one video. So I want to bless each and every one of you that watch this video. God bless you right now. All the people on Facebook right now. God bless each and every one. And may God prosper you in your life today. Okay? Amen. Amen. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless you. And remember, Jesus is King of kings and Lord of lords. Bye now.